Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below. Hello, my YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Mike Shout, sniffing out the Madden cheese as always. I got part three of my pistol playbook, pistol weak slot flex formation. Uh, this is officially the last video out of this playbook. So if you guys have any other special playbooks like West Coast or whatever, let me know in the comment section what you want me to work on next. Let me know what's good. The next play we're going to show is the smash Y corner. I think this might be the last play. Um, I thought I might have had another one, but I don't think I do. So let's go ahead and let's pick the smash. And we'll keep with the Ram 3-4. So this play right here, I, I like this play uh, because Burton uh, realistically is... Um, I, I like those, those circle routes. It's a good, it's a good route. Uh, but there's really only adjustment I would make is I'd put uh, Smith here on a drag. Um, you want, If you want to, you can put Ertz here on and uh, you can motion him out. And that's a really glitchy setup uh, a lot of times. Um, as long as it's not a cover two. That was a cover two. Cover two, cover that. But that's about it. Cover three, cover four won't. If it's a man in one cover, this looks like a man. Dude barely even followed. So this is probably going to get pooped on big time. Wait for that break. That break is what makes it happen. If you throw in the break, he's going to get open. Like I said, he'll get open against everything but cover too. So here we go. Got to know the man coverage. Zach Ertz is going to destroy that. Wait for that break. And we're gonna wait for that break. And you can see break, him breaking ankles. That's what it's about. So that's, that's a way to go. Uh, I don't know why I'm motion burden out. Burden is not, this is not a play where motion benefits burden at all. Um, this motion is really all about my man Ertz. Looks like we might have another another man coverage, but I'm not going to keep going his way. So I went to Burton there. Um, that, you know, once he makes that cut in, it's going to be a big play. That's part of the reason that I put Smith in that drag. You can see that there was a linebacker underneath him, but that drag really changes uh, the whole play, really. That drag really pulls away from Burton. So I'm going to go ahead and we'll work this once or twice more. You can see how that drag, the linebacker has to react to that drag. And if it's a user, you're going to throw to the drag, basically. Against the computer, uh, the, the play is going to be Burton. But against a user, it really might be that drag. So you can see how, even though I got sacked there, you see how he reacted to that drag. That's the point. Watch that computer linebacker. Watch how he basically just bails for that drag. And it creates that window for Burton. So a real easy pass set up. Put Smith on a drag, pass block the running back, motion out Ertz. And I'm going to try to go Jeffrey's way. I haven't really gone his way too much, but against a cover two, he should be pretty good against cover three as well, as you can see there. That was a, not the best throw, but it worked out. And it'll create a bit of a corner uh, bench switch concept. Um, so that'll really help out to get, uh, to get Jeffrey. And Jeffrey got a crazy release right there. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that was just crazy. It, oh yeah, let's go, baby. All Sean Jeffrey in the house, man. So this year looks like, I'm going to guess Smith is going to be open right away. Um, you got to take those five yard outs. I mean, if, he, if he's off coverage like that, you got to take that. This looks like it's going to be the exact same setup. So I don't want to keep just working that five yard out, but you can see that it's there right away. I really want this him to play down to get me Jeffrey. That's what I really want. And we're going to go ahead. We're going to get Jeffrey again. I mean, that's just a really good play. Like I said, it's basically a bench switch. So that play uh, has a lot of different things. It's just really, Smith is really all about who you want to get open. Smith is not really the read for the most part. If he is, it's not a big read. But if you want to get Burton open, put him on a drag. If you want to get Jeffrey open, put him on an out route. And then Ertz um, will work against everything except cover two. As long as you have an athletic uh, tight end. Other than that, let's go ahead and let's just check out the halfback counter here real quick. This is a really good play. Uh, like I said, we're going to use the same motion. We're going to go random 3-4. So it's really up to you once again if you want to motion out this fullback slash tight end, uh, whether you want to do that or not. doesn't really matter. I think keeping it back works best um, in most of the run plays, really. But you can see how this is just a really, you know, look at the opening. First play, 15, 20 yards, easy. Um, you're going to see that type of consistency. Uh, as you can see, I'm not really, he got off that block pretty quick. That was not a great block right there. Uh, but you're going to see this type of consistency. I'm going to go ahead. I'm just going to rapid fire this. I mean, this is just a really good formation to run out of, as you, if you can't tell already. This is definitely one of the best run formations as far as like how many different types of plays there are. I mean, there's just so many good run plays out of this. I mean, you have, they're all pretty much in the same direction, but as far as like the styles, I mean, they're counter plays, toss plays, you name it, inside runs. I mean, this is definitely, you know, one of the best running formations that I've, that I've found uh, in a while here. This is just so many good consistent run plays. 
I don't know what it is about this formation, about that that tight end, fullback, whatever you have it, about where they're positioned, but it's just like I'm just getting such consistent holes. I mean, this is just crazy. I think all these plays pretty much work better with your tight end fullback uh, in the backfield. I don't really want him uh, running out and engaging any quicker than he has to because realistically, um, the, the quicker he engages, the quicker he can get shedded. So I don't really want that. I want him in the backfield. Uh, I think that's the best way to do it. But you guys can lab it and tell me what you think. Uh, other than that, I'm going to go ahead and end this second video. If you guys want me to work on any other uh, unique playbooks like West Coast or uh, Run Balance, whatever, let me know in the comment section uh, because I took this from the comment section and I couldn't be happier uh, with what I found. So other than that, that's it. Thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Oh. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like eBooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my bits and more. Link in the description below.